Well, welcome back to Sanity. While you were away, I recorded some more parts. We've now got more drums, a string pad, and a piano line as well. We've also gone to menu structure and used a facility called Delete Unused Tracks to delete unused tracks. Incidentally, I haven't used any features that we haven't yet discussed. Honest. By the way, if you're wondering who Sven is, we might be introduced to him a little bit later on. Let's talk a little bit about copying, deleting, and moving sections or sequences of music. This is what my four bars sound like now. Absolutely amazing, hey? Right, what I need next is a bridge passage to link this one to the next repeat of it. Now, as we know, we can position the song position line, the SPL line here, bar 5, and start extending each track. But what if we don't need to play all the parts in again, for example? The drums here could be extended, and the drums here could also be extended. Well, we can quite simply copy these sections directly in the window here. Select the object that you want to duplicate, and then press alternate on your keyboard. Now drag the object to the right, like so, and let go, and you've got an exact copy. Copy any other, any other parts that duplicate themselves in the same way. Having made those copies, I can now play in my other parts. Don't forget to put the song position line in the place that you want to start. And so by a miracle of modern technology, we've now done that. Now we discussed deleting objects in an early tutorial, if you can remember that far back, which we did by clicking on objects with the rubber tool. Well, I'll let you into a secret. The same operation can be done by clicking on backspace on your computer keyboard like so. Oh, crisis. Uh, I've now lost that brilliant piano part. Not. Because you can call it back just by going to the edit menu up here and choosing undo clear. And back comes that wonderful piano part. Let's suppose now that I want to transpose a section. Again, select the object in question, let's say the base, and then go up to the parameters box up here and adjust the transpose value, let's say up an octave or down an octave. Done. Don't forget, everything is done in what's called real time, so you don't have to confirm it, and you can reverse it at any time.